Ever since people decided to take a chunk of wood out into the water, serpents have been there to welcome us. Quite the housewarming gift from the deep, wouldn't you say? But let's not get too cozy just yet. These aren't your garden variety snakes we're talking about. No, these are the legendary sea serpents, creatures that have slithered the way through the pages of history, folklore, and quite possibly, reality. Their tales are as vast as the oceans they're said to inhabit, and as deep as our age-old fascination with the unknown. And if you think you heard it all before, think again. The world of sea serpents is as enigmatic as it gets, with each wave of history revealing a new layer of mystery. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh great, another deep dive into myths and legends. But hold on to your life jackets, because this isn't just any dive. We're plunging into the annals of history, navigating through ancient texts, and surfacing with real life encounters that might just make you question everything you thought you knew about these serpentine behemoths. From the Mesopotamian Tiamat to the Norse Jormungandr, these creatures have left an indelible mark on human culture. And while some might dismiss them as a mere figments of overactive imagination, others swear by their existence. After all, the ocean is a vast, uncharted territory, and who's to say what lurks beneath? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before we embark on this whirlwind journey, let's set the stage. Picture a world where dragons surf through the skies, sirens lure sailors to their doom, and colossal sea serpents roll the depths. Sounds like the stuff of legends, right? Well, maybe. Or maybe it's a world not too different from our own. So, whether you're a skeptic or a believer, buckle up. We're about to uncover the truth behind these legendary creatures, one tantalizing tale at a time. And trust me, it's going to be one heck of a ride. Or swim. Whatever floats your boat. Or sinks it. <laughs> I'm beginning to think those vodka cranberries may have had alcohol in them. As the sun sets over the horizon and the ocean's depths plunge into darkness, so do we dive deeper into the enigmatic tales of sea serpents. These creatures aren't just recent figments of overactive imaginations or the stuff of Hollywood blockbusters. Oh no, they've been with us, lurking in our stories and haunting our dreams as long as humanity has dared to set sail. Our journey begins with none other than the great philosopher Aristotle. In his work, Historia Animalum, he didn't just ponder the nature of man and the universe. He also delved into the mysteries of the deep, referencing an account of massive sea creature observed by Poseidonus. This wasn't just a casual mention. It was a detailed description that emphasized the creature's sheer size and otherworldly presence, and Aristotle wasn't alone in his fascination. From the turbulent waters of Mesopotamia emerged tales of Tiamat, a deity so powerful she birthed the first generation of gods. And let's not forget Norse Jormungandr, a sea serpent so vast it could encircle the world. These aren't just isolated tales from disparate cultures, no. There are evidence of shared human narrative, a collective attempt to explain the unexplainable. The universality of these legends is nothing short of astounding. From the warm currents of the Indian Ocean to the frigid Arctic waters, tales of serpentine behemoths have echoed for time. It's as if the entire human race, regardless of geography or era, felt a magnetic pull towards the ocean's mysteries. And who can blame them? With over two-thirds of our planet submerged and largely unexplored, the seas are Earth's final frontier. And what's a frontier without a few monsters lurking in the shadows? But here's the kicker, while it's easy to dismiss these tales as mere myths, ancient exaggerations of real marine animals, or the stuff of sailors' nightmares after one too many rums, there's a thread of consistency that's hard to ignore. These aren't just tales of giant fish or oversized squids, there are stories of creatures that defy categorization, challenge our understanding of biology, and, quite frankly, make our modern tales of Loch Ness monsters seem like child's play. So, as we sail further into this exploration, keep an open mind, because as history has shown, Sometimes the line between legend and reality is a lot thinner than we think. As we navigate further into the abyss of history, we're met with a whirlpool of myths and legends, each more captivating than the last. It's not just about serpents anymore. The ocean's depths are teeming with creatures that have filled their nightmares and fantasies for millennia. Dragons, sirens, and other sea monsters have not only haunted our dreams, but have also been immortalized in our stories. From the vast expanse of the Mediterranean to the rugged coast of Northern Europe, tales of these creatures have been passed down for generations. The Jewish Leviathan, Leviathan in Hebrew, is one of them. A colossal sea creature from folklore that symbolizes chaos and untamed power since its birth on the fifth day of creation, as if the universe needed a bit more excitement. Depicted as sea monster or serpent, it pairs with Behemoth, its male and land counterpart. Beyond appearance, it embodies the struggle against chaos and represents untamed aspects of existence. Then there's the legendary snake Jormungandr, the colossal serpent of Norse mythology. It could wrap itself around the world and still have room for a few extra coils. 
This scaly marvel, born from Loki's family tree, has a touch of aquatic chaos to the cosmic narrative. Its claim to fame? Being the one responsible for encircling Midgard, aka Earth, and giving sailors a great excuse for avoiding deep sea fishing. So, Jormungandr's presence in Norse tales serves as a reminder that even trunk crazed Vikings were scared of snakes in the water. But what's truly fascinating is the symbolic weight these creatures carried in ancient societies. They weren't just bedtime stories to scare children or tales to entertain travelers. These creatures, especially sea serpents, were embodiment of the vast, unpredictable, and often treacherous nature of the oceans. They represented the awe, reverence, and let's face it, the sheer terror that the endless blue expanse evoked in our ancestors. After all, what better way to explain the unexplainable than with creatures that defy comprehension? While today we might smirk at these tales, dismissing them as mere fabrications of overreactive imaginations, they were the ancient world way of making sense of the great unknown. And if you think we've outgrown our need for such tales, just remember the last time you hesitated before taking a dip in the ocean, wondering what might be lurking just out of sight. Because, let's be real, who's truly afraid of a little water? It's what's in the water that keeps us on our toes. From the annals of mythology, we now sail into the treacherous waters of reality. While tales of dragons and sirens might seem far-fetched, the accounts of seasoned sailors who have braved the vast oceans brings us face to face with creatures that might just be more than mere figments of imagination. And trust me, these aren't your average I caught a fish this big stories. Take Hans Egget for instance. In 1734, this intrepid explorer, while on a voyage along Greenland's coast, encountered something that would haunt maritime tales for centuries. A creature so massive, so otherworldly, that it defied all known marine biology. Egget's detailed account paint a vivid picture of a creature that was neither whale nor shark, but something far more mysterious. And if you're thinking this is just another sailor's exaggerated tale after one too many rums, well, brace yourself. Fast forward to 1844, and the crew of the HMS Daedalus would have a story to rival Egget's. While navigating between the Cape of Good Hope and St. Helena, they reported an encounter with a creature that seemed to have leaped straight out of mythology and into reality. The sheer size, the undulating motion, and the unmistakable serpentine shape left an indelible mark on those who witnessed it. And for those of us hearing about it, let's just say it's a good thing we're on dry land. But what's truly spine-chilling is the recurring themes in these encounters. The undulating motion, reminiscent of a snake slithering through water, the unmistakable serpentine shape, long and sinuous, and the sheer enormity of these creatures, dwarving ships and leaving witnesses in awe. It's almost poetic, really. Humanity's age-old fascination with the unknown depths of the sea, coming to life in the most unexpected ways. In conclusion, while myths and legends have their charm, real-life encounters serve as a humbling reminder. The ocean, vast and mysterious, still holds secrets that we're yet to uncover. And as for sea serpents? Well, the next time you're out at the sea, keep an eye on the horizon. You never know what or who might decide to pop up and say hello. Or, you know, give it a heart attack. Whichever comes first. As we drift away from the chilling tales of yore, let's anchor ourselves in the realm of science. Because, let's face it, as much as we love good sea monster story, we also love a logical explanation. And sometimes, these explanations can be, well, let's just say, more bizarre than the legends themselves. Enter uh, the whale penis theory? Yes, you heard that right. Some believe that certain sea serpent sightings might just be misinterpretations of, well, overly enthusiastic whales. It's a theory that's both amusing and slightly deflating for those who have sworn they've seen a sea monster. But hey, nature has its quirks, and sometimes those quirks can look like legendary sea creatures. Who we are to judge? But not all explanations are quite so anatomical. Take the oarfish, for instance. This real-life sea creature, with its elongated body and mesmerizing movements, could easily be mistaken for a sea serpent by those unfamiliar with its existence. Hanging vertically in the sunless depths, its scaleless body reflecting the sparse light, the oarfish is a sight to behold. And for ancient sailors, a sight that could easily inspire legends. After all, seeing a 56-foot-long fish unexpectedly would make anyone's imagination run wild. Beyond the oarfish, there are numerous marine animals that have been misidentified throughout history. Giant squids, manatees, and even schools of fish moving in synchrony can create optical illusions, especially when viewed from a distance or in challenging marine conditions. The vast, uncharted waters of our planet are a treasure trove of mysteries, and sometimes what we see is just a fragment of the bigger picture. However, skepticism has its place. With over two-thirds of our planet submerged and a mere 5% of it explored, who's to say what lurks in the depths? While science offers explanations, it also emphasizes the vastness of the unknown. The ocean's depths are our final frontier, and for all we know, they might be teeming with creatures that defy our wildest imaginations. 
or, you know, just more enthusiastic whales. The allure of sea serpents from ancient mariner's tales to modern day sightings is undeniable. It's a testament to humanity's unquenchable thirst for the unknown and our innate curiosity about the vast, mysterious world beneath the waves. Whether it's the spine-tingling accounts of sailors from yesteryears or the skeptical chuckles elicited by whale's penis theory, one thing's for sure, the deep blue has always been, and will always be, a realm of wonder and enigma. While it's essential to approach these legends with a discerning eye, it's equally crucial to appreciate the magic they bring to our lives. The true essence of sea serpents isn't just in their potential reality, but in their unparalleled ability to captivate our imagination, make us question, and remind us of the vast unknowns that still await discovery. So, the next time you hear a tale of monstrous creature from the deep, remember, sometimes the line between religion and reality is as fluid as the waters they inhabit. And with that, dear explorers of the unknown, we've reached the end of our deep dive into the world of sea serpents. If you've enjoyed this voyage into the abyss of myths and realities, do us a favor, like this video, share it with fellow seekers of truth, and of course, subscribe to the Den of Unknown. Because who knows, the next mystery might just be lurking around the corner, or in this case, just beneath the surface. Until next time, friends.